one year, gotta get this X Men poster looking right. Whoa, whoa, homie, what are you doing in my crib? Oh, you know, dancing around, playing guitar, crow stuff. Are you sure you ain't the Sandman, dog? Cause you kind of look like the Sandman. It can't rain all the time. <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? I mean, I guess we're in the house. These action figures on my shelves, man, they drive the ladies crazy. Look, oh, I'm watching comic book movies, so they wanna have my baby. Look, oh, look, oh. We checking out that James O'Barr crow today, baby. Deluxe edition or special edition hardcover. This is an old book, but hey, it was something I had to add back to my collection. And this is the definitive author's version, baby. Uh, James O'Barr drew, drew this and wrote it. If you ain't seen the movie and the other two horrible movies. Well, the second one was good, but they made this one with Edward Furlong, bro. Straight clown town. Anyway, drawn and written by James O'Barr. We got a new introduction by James O'Barr. Cover price of $29.99, but I think I got it for like $20 or something. Not much on here. Spine looks cool. Crow Special Edition, James O'Barr. Dust jacket, kind of the same info. This was a sad story, man. This dude's chick died or something, and then he wrote this uh, book right here, this crow book. He, like, banged it all out night after night. I think it talks about it in the uh, story in here. It's not death if you refuse it. Anyway, dust jacket looks super dope. Nothing really in here. Nothing really in here. We got that glued... That glued binding in there. Not much gut, not much gutter loss on the pages because they got that black border around it, black outline. Really dope art. This guy kind of had his own style, James O'Barr, and I liked it a lot. He had some kind of painting style and everything. This is a uh, intro by him. Copyright 1981 was the first time. And then this thing version, I think, is the 2017. So, you know what I'm saying? This is an old hitter. But super dope. We got another little introduction right here. Uh, in memory of Brandon Lee. Because you know that the Dawn got capped during that damn movie, man. Really sad. He's a legend. Super dope covers. Or not even covers, like, because this was one book, but, like, things to break up the chapters and stuff. Little poems and stuff. Really good looking book, man. He has his own definite kind of art style. A lot of times it's hard for me to read black and white stuff. But because he puts so much black in it, to me it stands out better than a, uh, like a regular black and white comic. Look at him dancing around. <laughs> Crunk, bro. And then, like like I said, you got a lot of these, like, painted covers, little poems and shit. This, is a, this was a pretty innovative, like, next level type of thing. And they, of course, based a lot of mixed media or, like, different kinds of art and shit in here. So that's cool. This was really kind of a groundbreaking comic when it came out in 81. I don't know if James O'Barr's done anything else, but... The Crow is classic, and I think everybody should own this. But yeah, man, pretty dope hardcover. We got an afterword in there, some forwards, different little art. They added this uh, stuff at the end. I don't think that was in the other one. Correct me if I'm wrong. And we got some extra art. I keep wanting to call them covers, but... This is one book, one graphic novel. I like that kind of Crow Joker look right there. Like Jared Leto's Joker and Snyder Cut, almost. 
not really, but <laughs> super dope. That almost looks like a chick crow. That too, or Michael Jackson crow. But yeah, here's some super dope stuff in the back. More. Oh, that's hard as hell. But yeah, definitely some extra stuff in this. And it's worth picking up, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe. And if you want to win a copy of Sandman Omnibus Volume 1, comment on this video or any other video that I mention it in. And you could be the winner. Much love and respect. Peace.